Should you use Go or Rust for your next programming project? It's 2023 and I see the world of tech broken down into four specific categories. In one category, we have the JavaScript slash TypeScript Andes who think you can build absolutely everything using TypeScript from the front end to the back end to the infrastructure as code to absolutely everything they love their TypeScript or JavaScript for DHH. The second category are the Go developers who have been using Go for so long or have now turned into realizing how great Go is to use and develop and are suddenly these Go engineers and Go lovers. Third category are our classic Rust developers, which regardless of what the council says, stay true to the language and stay true to their love for the language. And in the last category, these are the developers who don't give a shit. Uh, they use Java, they use PHP, Cobalt C, they don't care. They use what they need for the job and they just move on with their life, collect their bag and life's simple for them. They're never on tech Twitter arguing. This video is gonna focus on categories two and three, the Go and Rust developers. Specifically, it's gonna be for those people that want to learn a new language or want to start a project in one of the two languages and they're stuck between choosing which one. And before I even answer that, I think really, if you are deciding which language you should choose, it should either be down to your goal or the actual purpose of the project. If you've always used higher level programming languages like JavaScript and Python, then maybe something like Rust, which will introduce you to lower level concept, could be something for you. Or if you've always used TypeScript and always worked on the front end and you want to learn more about the backend sauce, that backend language, then maybe Go is great for you to get yourself into those muddy, delicious gopher waters. However, if you don't have a specific goal on learning a language, then really the decision is based solely on the project itself. Even if you've never coded in Go before, it is the better option than Rust if you want to ship something fast because Rust, well, it has a much steeper learning curve due to the ownership and due to the borrowing system. It's not something you can just jump into, read the documentation, maybe see a tutorial here and there, a Medium article, and then put something out there like a server. With Go, you can. You can just look at the documentation. There's millions of examples of how to spin up a server within 20 lines of code. So the decision there is fairly straightforward and easy. But let's go a little deeper and a little bit more specific. If you're building a RESTful API for a website, Go is by far the better decision. It is definitely a great choice with tools and frameworks like Jin or Echo that really can get you from zero to deployed server super quickly. And I mean ridiculously fast. I actually have a video where I discuss all the different backend frameworks and library. Make sure you click it and let me know what you think about it. One of the strongest reasons for using Go is its concurrency model. And that's gonna go really, really well if you wanna build something like a micro service. Or better yet, developing a serverless function. I truly think Go is the best language for that because you can just take it bundle it in its executable, slap it into a Lambda, and there you go, you now have a running serverless function. But on the flip side, Rust has a very nice ecosystem, especially with its very popular package manager, Cargo. It has a very strong typing system, which is way more advanced and way more detailed than the typing safety Go has to offer. And it's just overall a language that you really get a grasp of computer science more firmly than you would using Golang. For these reasons, a CLI is a great option to be built with Rust. Device drivers or embedded systems, you know, all of those things that sound very spooky and scary because they are and are difficult to do are great reasons to use Rust because they require detailed attention. You have to really be smart of every single time you allocate memory in building stuff that's as important as drivers or systems or anything like that. These two can be used for different reasons. And I know one of the arguments people are gonna say are, well, Discord moved from Go to Rust and yeah, that's true, but that is probably not a full blanket statement. I highly doubt that Discord moved all of its services from Go to Rust. I'm sure there was a particular reason or one specific service that required that move, but holistically, I'm pretty sure Discord still uses Go, are happy to use Go, and are also happy to use Rust in some places as well. However, 
if your goal is to get hired in 2023, I think there's a very clear answer. If I hop on over to indeed.com and all I really put into the what category is go developer, you can see there's 4,122 jobs on the market. And I'm fairly sure this is just within the USA or within a very close radius. I am fairly certain there's more than 5,000 jobs available for go developers right now. But if I do the same for Rust developer on the exact same website, you can see there's 745 jobs. Now, again, I am fairly certain that there's more than just 745 jobs available for Rust developers, but you can see there is just a stark difference on a job set like Indeed, which is one of the bigger sites. The job market is heavily favoring Go developers right now. It's like the whole Java takeover, but now you have Go and it's so much better than Java. I mean, come on. You forgot the whole script part. So at the end of the day, you really shouldn't be spending too much time in deciding whether you're using Go or Rust. It should be project specific, but if you just wanna you learn Rust, go learn Rust. But if you are looking for a job, then there is a clear distinctive answer. And I think that is to learn Go and become a Go developer. Finding a job right now is not easy, but preparing yourself for the tools for when the job market kind of lightens up and it's easier to find a job, then setting yourself up with Go is an excellent decision, but so is developing in Rust. I think what I'm trying to say is just develop, just program, okay? Have fun with it, keep learning. You'll be just fine with the right attitude, the right work ethic, and really the right plan of action. But you guys know me, right? I gotta leave you all with two things. One is what do you use, Go or Rust? Let me know in the comment section below. And I know I'm a Go guy, been like that since I was born, but I wanna know how many people watch me actually use Rust? I'm curious. And two, you gotta power it.